Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. We're gonna go over some purchases that I've made and then we're gonna open up some heavy packs and it is definitely gonna be more than one this time. It's gonna be more than one set. All right, first we're gonna start off with, let's see what we have here. So this is from 416 Rare Cards and there's all of his info. Oh, this is a magnet. Man, check that out. Got another foil in there. All right, he sent two free booster packs. We'll open these up. And then this is what I bought, the Espeon PSA 10 that was on eBay. Man, I did not want to pay $1,100 for this card. But everything else just keeps going up. And I did want it to disappear, not for a few hundred dollars. Because I was pretty, I was willing to go pretty close to that. So thank you very much, 416 Rare Cards. You sent me some free stuff, and we're going to open that up too. So check this out. <clears throat> Got an Evolutions Pikachu. has two square corners. Yeah, that's what it looks like normally. And then... That's the one that I got. It's pretty cool. I think I paid like 25 bucks for it or something. But I thought it was neat. All right. For those of you who are wondering about the trades, this is where I'm currently at with overgrowth. I've trade, traded three times. I think I've got a good deal coming in for this one. But if you're interested in trading, just email me down here, down in the description. I've got my email, number one Pokemon Collector at gmail.com. And I will let you know what the current item is. And I'm always and I'm looking to trade up. This is going to benefit a charity. So I'm definitely trying to get something a little bit better in value each time that I trade. Alright, so we have let's see what this is. Thanks, Rusty, for the trade. Here's a few bonus cards. I really love your channel. Best on you YouTube, hands down. I look forward to future videos and hopefully some more trades. Matt. IG Retro Respawn Relics. So we made a little bit of a trade and this is some stuff that he sent to me for free. Got a golf Nintendo e-reader pack. Maybe we'll open that up too. We'll just open a bunch of stuff. Got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pack. And then check out this stuff. I'm not even sure what this is. Topps Chewing Gum from 1975. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then we also have some codes for y'all. So we're going to open that stuff up too. Man, I didn't plan on opening up these other packs, but they're going to add to the value of the, the video, hopefully. All right, next up we have a Professor Elms Training Method, Gym Mint 10 Reverse Hollow. I got it from PokeRev, none other than the man himself. Working on some PSA 10 Reverse Hollow sets. I'm not too heavy into this stuff, but anytime I can pick up Reverse hollows that I need from a personal collection and it's under 100 bucks. It's probably a decent deal, so I'll go ahead and pick it up. Let's see, oh, I think I've already shown those. Let me put this on the side. Oh, well, maybe I didn't. You got a Butterfree, and this is Gem at 10 First Edition. I think that was with another purchase. Next up, we have three heavy base set packs. These were sold and they're going to be opened up. These are for Devin. He only wants the hollows, so everything else sold back and then I have three heavy fire red leaf green booster packs at least I'm pretty sure they're heavy I'm opening up one of them and I have the other two on backup just in case I don't actually get the hollow so and the only reason I, I'm a little unsure is because fire red leaf green I'm not I don't have a ton of experience with the EX series sets like I do with the Watsu ones so let's start with this stuff and then we'll do the fire red leaf green pack and then we'll finish with the base set stuff all right what do we have here Got the folded over backside wax teenage mutant ninja turtles pack. Looks like I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Man, that guy's funny. And then Village on Fire, Michelangelo. So at least I know who the orange one is. A dirty rescue. Almost looks pink, doesn't it? I think that looks pink. Ding Dong Cannonball Calling. It's like a cartoon card. A weird light. The Turtles Meet the Rebels. And let's hit it, dudes. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty cool. Alright, let's check out these e-reader cards. I wonder if these are scanned into my Nintendo e-reader. I mean, I imagine they should. I mean, it's got Nintendo. It's got the E there. Golf. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got the little e-reader barcode. Got number five, number four, three, two, one. It must have been a full, full set. 
I'm not sure what's going on with the golf stuff. Kind of reminds me of Cyber Tiger. Played a little bit of PlayStation, but not a ton. All right, let's go into this rubber plat these rubber plastics. Uh, hopefully, that's not a bad sign. Four. All right, got an Energy, Dracluk, Tranquil, Sonya, Clefairy, Voltor, Growlithe, Dreepy, Snover, Doblade or Dublade, and Galarian, Runurigus. Huh, kind of cool. All right, next. Rebel Clash. Remember, these were free. Burning Scarf, Oleana, Luxio, Growlithe, Impidimp, Bunnelby, Phantom, Dreepy, Howlucha. That's pretty cool. Probably put a decent texture on for the basic ones. Got Cramorant. Alright, so no good pulls there. It happens. Alright, let's open up the Charizard artwork for this one. I had a lot of fire red. I had it was 36 packs to choose from. I weighed them out, man. It was just so tough picking out which ones might be heavy. I think these were the most likely candidates for heavy. We pulled two off the back. I can't really remember. So we've got Haunter, Raticate, Nidoran, Weedle, Bell Sprout, Shelter, Cubone. Ooh, there's a Reverse Hollow, uh, Jigglypuff, or Parallel Hollow, and. Victory Bell, so we did get the holler all right. Now, it wasn't an EX, it wasn't the Charizard EX we wanted. However, let's check out the condition. I've been noticing how much the uh, EX series PSA 10s and 9s have really started trending upwards. I'm going to sleeve up this Jigglypuff as well. And see how it's got like all the energies in the back side of the full? Background full and that, that Jigglypuff looks good. I'd probably say the best pull out of that was the Jigglypuff. Victor Bell is nice. I mean, it's a hollow, but it's not like it's super, something super popular. Maybe even like this Haunter because you're not going to have a whole lot of pack fresh E series stuff that gets graded. But when I've noticed one, when I grade this stuff, it sells really well. I think I sold a non hollow uncommon. Gyarados or something from EX Dragon. It, I mean, it sold overnight for 60 bucks in PSA 10. All right, next up we have these three heavy unlimited base packs. Let's see what we get. This is actually part of a trade. I traded, uh, used these towards trade value on a Gym Heroes first edition box, in which I was ready to just buy the whole thing, but yeah, I think he wanted to to do some hollow hunting. And I, yeah. You can see it one, two, three, four, five. I think the way we figured it, what we figured out was those two were probably the energies. For some reason, the energy and the hollow were switched. Now I'm sure you guys have noticed how the prices on PSA 10 stuff for base set has really, really went up. So there are those energies: Tango, Staryu, Squirtle, Potion, Defender, Pokédex, and Seal. I think I sold a Blastoise for twelve hundred dollars. Here we go. It looks like UPS just made it, so I'm gonna show this one, and I might have to pause it. Dude, ooh, Alakazam! Oh man, that's always a good pull. Let's check it out. Yep, sounds like they're beeping in the background. Wow, that one looks good. Good centering. He's definitely honking at me. A little bit of edge wear at the bottom, but I'm gonna set that one right there. And then I'll be right back. Whew, and I'm back. Man, that was a bunch of packages. When your distributors ship you some cases of boxes, I like to stick them in sets of four in a box and then whew, try to grab two or three at once. Got myself a little out of, out of breath. But all right, so we got that Alkazam. We have two more packs to go. So we've pull the number one see if we can do Blastoise and the Charizard wouldn't that be sweet <laughs> one two and four there's the hollow put that there we'll just let those energies be in the middle We've got Ponyta, Magnemite, another Squirtle, Nidoran, Caterpie, 
And look at that big blue dot. Energies are always bad for these things. Water energy Kakuna. Oh, heart skipped a beat for a second. Saw a war turtle. It's just the regular. Got Porygon. Hollow number two is Zapdos. Okay, so we go from number one to number 16. Go from the first to the last. Let's see how we're looking. Usually this one isn't too tough to grade in a 10. It's got that nice background that's dark. Looking pretty good on the back side. Again, a little bit of whitening, but nothing too crazy. All right, last chance for the Zard. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Star you, Voltorb, Vulpix, Pidgey, Bulbasaur. Got another starter, Water Energy. They got a little dot right there on that Water Energy, too. Psychic Energy, Machoke, Pokedex, and Kadabra. With his three fingers. All right. Here it is. Ooh, right you. That's another decent pull. Wow, look at that one. The quality of these packs was really nice. Top side looks good. See, it's just that little bit of whitening on the bottom side for those. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. It had three heavy base, a couple Rebel Clash, heavy fire red leaf green. Maybe we'll have more videos like this soon in the future. Thanks.